Now I know what you're all saying. Another Smith & Wesson 686 review? Let me guess. It holds six rounds with 357 Magnum, can also shoot 38, happens to be stainless, has adjustable rear sights. I'm sure you guys have heard everything there is to ever hear about the revolver, right? It excels at hunting, self-defense, and plinking at the range, though only in single action. What about guys like me who want to use one for competition? The target grip, wide serrated trigger, and lengthy barrels don't facilitate rapid double action shooting. Well, it looks like Smith & Wesson has heard my prayers and answered them because Smith & Wesson just released the ideal IDPA gun, coming pre-set up from the factory in SSR, or stock, service revolver configuration. The model 686 SSR, chambered in 357 Magnum, and of course, 38 Special. Now it separates the SSR model from the standard 686. Right off the bat, you can see these grips or stocks don't look standard at all, and they're not. They're clearly designed to be shot in double action, allow for a nice high grip, an effective recoil controlling grip. Now these custom 686 grips are pressed from the factory, and you can see the letters SSR, stock service revolver, are handsomely present on the grips amongst all the stipling. Above that, you can see on, on these laminated grips, they have the classic Smith & Wesson emblem. But it's not just the grip that sets the SSR apart from standard models. The 686 SSR is built from the ground up for stock service revolver IDPA competition. Now the front sight's removable and can be replaced with either a fiber optic or tritium sight. The charge holes are slightly chamfered to allow for quicker loading under duress. And the main spring is bossed or ribbed to provide a lighter, smoother trigger pull. The barrel is precisely 4.2 inches, the maximum allowable length in IDPA SSR division, and the barrel features a target crown to protect the muzzle from accuracy ruining damage. A further look towards the muzzle, you'll see that the barrel lug is slightly sloped, and that's so the gun draws cleaner from the holster. And speaking of being able to draw fast from a holster, all of the weight of this gun is in the back, which is ideal for quick drawing. It draws extraordinarily fast from a holster, though this does translate into slightly more recoil. With an MSRP of $999, the Smith & Wesson 686 SSR is only $70 more than a standard 686. With such a small price difference, the SSR is a, is a no-brainer. Getting the features that come standard on the SSR would cost you probably two dollars $300 to have done by a competent gunsmith on a standard 686. So if you're looking to get your feet wet in competition, and maybe you're a six-gun fanatic like myself, and you don't already own a 686, or you want to give your old one as a present to the wife, Look no further than Smith & Wesson's 686 stock service revolver in 357 Magnum and 38 Special. Thanks guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.